Hello, I'm Dennis Laws, the Technical and General Manager here at the BFI IMAX Cinema. And I'm standing in front of this huge screen, which is the largest screen in Britain, and measures 20 metres high by 26 and a half metres wide. The screen may look solid, but it's actually filled with millions of tiny holes that allow the sound to travel through the screen from the speakers that are located behind the screen to your ears with crystal clarity. After 13 years of operation here on the South Bank, it was time to change our screen. This is how we did it. The new screen required 10 riggers who were all located at the top of the screen to haul the 800 kilogram weight of the new screen all the way up the frame. Once the screen is in place and tied down at the top of the frame, we leave it for 48 hours to allow any creases to drop out. The screen when it is brought into the building is actually white, but we need to spray it silver to allow the polarized 3D system to work properly and reduce any kind of ghosting that you might get when you're showing a 3D film. A purpose-built spray rig was installed and this moves from left to right and enables the spray gun to move up and down the rig and cover the entire screen. Here we are in the heart of the cinema, the projection room. And here we have the original film projector. This is the Rolls-Royce of cinema projectors, the IMAX GT 3D projector, and our new digital projectors that have just recently been installed. The reason for having both systems is that some films are available on film and some are only available on digital. So now we have the option to show any IMAX format that is presented to us. In an IMAX theatre, image is not everything. We all know that sound plays a major part in the cinema experience. And here we have just installed the brand new IMAX digital sound system, which delivers over 14,000 watts of sound through the six channels located in the auditorium, and of course the huge sub-bass.